All right, back down here at F6 Outdoors with the wizard, Mr. Jamie Fuller. We've got the new Hoyt Ventum Pro, and um, Jamie's actually going to talk about a lot of the new updates that they made because this is the second year of, of a Ventum, but this one they're calling the Ventum Pro. Same cams? Uh, they actually changed it up. They went to the HBX Pro Cam. Pro cam. What they did is they got that cam more towards the center, um, helps out with center shot, and also gives you a better sight picture. Cool. So... Last year I did the, um, um, not the wilderness, um, buckskin. Buckskin, yeah. Buckskin. Yep. Oh, it's, and then this year went back, uh, actually did the wilderness on this one. And it looks a little different. Like, maybe there's a little more texturing yeah, to it. Yeah, almost more like a powder coat finish. Yeah. They did a really yeah. nice job on it. Yeah, it looks good. It looks real good and clean. So we're going to get started on this thing. Like I said, Jamie's going to go through here and um, talk about a lot of the different specs and some of the changes and features that they've done in here. We'll go through the accessories that we're going to put on here, HHA site, and we are going to do the Hoyt Integrate Rest, um, two, two components there, but we'll talk about those on the build. You're going to get to see us um, set it up on the drawboard, yep, set timings, absolutely. all that kind of stuff. But F6 Outdoors in Salem, Iowa, this is an awesome shop. This is where we set up all the bows every time I do one. Uh, Jamie and his staff down here are extremely knowledgeable and definitely worth checking them out if you're in the area or just make the drive down here and check them out. Hey everybody, we're going to go ahead and get John's bow set up here. Well, he's got the new Hoyt Venom Pro. It's going to come in here with the new HBX Pro cams. It's going to alleviate a little bit of your center shot issues we had last year. Um, it's going to also give us a better sight picture. Um, the shock pod location on this bow has helped us bow out tremendously as far as hand shock, vibration. This bow is absolutely dead in the hands. Um, they also put this new vital point grip on the bow and that's going to reduce torque and help with accuracy. Um, you're going to grab that bow and, and notice a big difference in the feel right out of the gate. Um, they also integrated the Picatinny rail this year. Instead of screwing them on, they're already integrated in the riser so we don't have to worry about that. We're also going to be mounting on the new Hoyt integrated rest. They have incorporated the new dovetail on their riser. So we'll be putting this on here, center shot, and leveling this rest out for John. So on HHJ's new Tetra model, um, they incorporated a new second axis block. And what that's going to help with, we had a problem before uh, with the sight when you'd move your up and down to get your sight tape set for your 20. We'd move our second axis at the same time. So it caused a little bit of an issue with your left or rights. And this block that they, they integrate in there helps out tremendously with that. Also, this Tetra model comes with the integrated Picatinny mount um, for this Hoyt bow. So it should be a great combo. Should make for a good setup. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and put on this HHA LR back bar bracket. We did this last year with John's uh, Ventum. So it should be pretty close right out of the gate. And then <clears throat> once we get this screwed on here, we're going to go ahead and throw on that stabilizer with a quick disconnect. So. All right, so we got John's bow set up complete for the most part. What I want to do now is I want to jump over here to the draw board. We want to put it on here, draw it back, and see what the actual draw length is, peak weight, and cam timing looks like. All three of those are very crucial to John's setup. Hook this thing up. All right. Looks like 71.1 pounds is what it hit its peak. And we're right about 28 and a 16th. Uh, let's check cam timing now. Everything looks super solid there. The rest was coming up at the last inch of draw cycle, so I think we should be pretty solid. Now to, all we have to do is set his peep height, and then we'll go paper tune it. All right, so we got John's bow's paper tuned. We ended up having to get to this uh, HBX tuning spacer kit like we did last year. Um, he had the gray kit in. Um, we started with the top and put the bigger spacer on the right side to push the cam left. 
and then we ended up doing that on the bottom too. So spacer kits should be available at every Hoyt dealer. Make sure you ask them if you're having any kind of problems. So what we're gonna do is tie in this peep sight and let them start shooting the boat, get it sighted in. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna call this good. Um, you know, with the new Vital Point grip, there was an issue for me, anyways, just kind of getting used to it. It's a comfortable grip, but it's a different grip all the same, right? So, um, what I found is I was actually putting more meat on the grip, and that was actually correcting my shot. So, we're dialed in at 20. We're set up and down, left, right. Um, now with this HHA sight, now basically what I'll do is using the wheel, I'll do a walk back to 60. Once I have my 60 mark, I'll be able to take the number, put the new sight tape on and, and we're good. But like I said, the hardest part is just uh, sometimes just getting that first, you know, getting that first 20 dialed in. That's the, the heavy lifting of it anyways. But this arrow looks good. We're done. All right, so 512 grains, you know, like Jamie and I were just talking about kind of off camera, there's a lighted knock, you've got a pretty thick arrow wrap, there is four fletchings, um, there is a little collar on here that's five grain, I've got 50 grain brass inside, so it's, it is a 300 spine arrow, um, but it weighs out 512 and the bow shooting 267, 268. Um, at a 28 inch draw length. That's, that's not too bad. That's, that's getting pretty good for a, you know, relatively smaller bow with a short draw length and a really, really heavy arrow. So I'm happy with it. Um, it's good. It's smooth. It's quiet. And F6 Outdoors killed it again.